Um, I'm going to first combine topics one through three all in the same video. Um, only because it's useful to talk about what inflation is before we start talking about uh, specific situations in specific countries. Um, so let's call this what is inflation? And where is it, I guess, would be the best way to put it. So let's start first with a understanding of what is inflation. Inflation. It's the general increase in prices. Sometimes you may also see discussion of deflation, which is actually a more worrisome concern, and that would be a general decrease in prices. It'll become a little clearer why later, in, uh, in a few weeks, why we care a little bit, why deflation is much more worrisome. But generally the idea is that most of the things that people buy are changing in price. Sometimes those things are going up, sometimes those things are going down. Okay, so most of us are generally aware that prices are increasing. In general, um, in the U.S. over the past 30 years, one to two percent annual increase in prices and if I look just do a quick search here um, that I'm just doing a very quick calculation here that since 1980 to, um, let's call it mid-2017, prices have increased 317% over that entire time. So basically what we're saying is that something that was bought 37 years ago um, is now th uh, a little over triple in price. That's something that cost a dollar in 1980 would cost $3.17 today. Now that's happening basically over time, right? If it keeps increasing 1% to 2% a year, and then it's increasing 1% to 2% on top of that, and on top of that, and on top of that, that's how we're seeing this change. So it is significant because what, what we're then saying is that as you are, you know, when you're making decisions about when to buy things, it's true that prices increase over time and that in 37 years when our parents and our grandparents all complain about how things are more expensive today, they're not just, uh, you know, too nostalgic, that there really is something going on here in terms of how um, prices are changing over time. Now, when it's only 1% to 2% a year, you're just not thinking very much about it. You're only kind of seeing it at the very end. Now, um, to most of us, right, unless you're over 37 years of age in our class, um, you don't really have a good understanding. Now, I say that, and I picked this year of 1980 because slightly before that, the inflation rate in the late 70s in the U.S., was 10 to 12 to 13 percent a year, um, so it was obviously quite more, quite, uh, quite a bit more dramatic. <coughs> uh, today, we see much higher prices um, <clears throat> in Venezuela. Right now, um, the inflation rate. I'm just doing kind of a quick search here. The inflation rate today in um, Venezuela is, uh, I'm just trying to get a quick sense of what the inflation rate is here, is that it is It's about 300% this year. Um, 
which should be quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> in Venezuela, whereas twenty dollars equaled uh, six hundred twenty-nine bolivars, that's the um, Venezuelan currency. Today, twenty dollars will get you one hundred ninety-five thousand seven hundred fifty-five bolivars. Now, this is what's useful for understanding um, why we should care about inflation, is that inflation represents a decreased value of the currency. So basically what we're saying is that because inflation exists, the bolivar the Venezuelan currency is less valuable. That for 20 bucks, that well, let's say it another way, that whereas it used to only take 629 bolivars to equal the purchasing power of 20 US dollars, four years later, that same $20 in the US, it would require 100, almost 200,000 bolivars to have the same purchasing power. So basically each bolivar is worth a lot less, um, is a lot less valuable. So that's why, in general, we should care um, about these things. Now, what do you end up having to do? To control inflation, you either use price controls. So in Venezuela, they could say that prices can't go up by a certain amount. Or alternatively, what they do is they create a black market that basically uh, places run out of things and you just go and you say, um, you know, um, find it on the streets basically and you'll get the product that way. Um, so you see, and this is Venezuela's example, but it happened in Zimbabwe as well. Um, what causes the problems in Venezuela and in Zimbabwe that cause um, these issues is inflation is generally caused by printing too much cash. So we haven't really gotten into this too much yet. We will in a, in a, in a few chapters here. But um, essentially what we see here is that um, the central bank in a country controls how much currency exists, how much cash is printed. And if more cash is printed, then... Um, if there's more cash printed, then each dollar or each amount of the currency becomes worth less and less. Um, and that's uh, what you see, is that in countries where there's a lot of inflation, they printed too much cash. And then the only way you can uh, reduce inflation is by reducing the amount of cash that exists.